Hey nerds, welcome to Ori and the Will of the Wisps. I'm your host Joe Tweeden and guys, I am super excited to jump into this sequel to a very beautiful franchise um, as of today, now on Xbox Game Pass. Um, this is going to be one of the first titles on our channel that I've been able to play at launch. I'm very excited to hop into this. I thoroughly enjoyed the first game. Truly a master, masterwork. Without further ado guys, let's just get to it. Now it's my intention to at least give you guys a first impressions take in this video, but I will more than likely play the full game all the way through. So hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all our uploads for this series and others like it. Let's see, we got easy mode for players who want to focus more on the story. Ori and the Will of Wisps was meant to be played on normal, and hard is the most challenging experience. We recommend playing first on normal for an optimal experience. We'll just go normal for now, guys. Seems the right thing to do. <laughs> These graphics are so gorgeous. Oh wow, we're jumping right in. Sweet. Alright. Swallow's Nest. I suppose we'll get a little more of the narration as we get into it here. Nice. We already got the uh, climb up the walls move. That's something you had to earn in the first one. I remember that. Oh, he's so cute. I love how well the developers tell story through just visuals and audio. It's, it's really an amazing thing. Oh no, little guy. <laughs> Great. Wake up, Ori. Wake up. I'm like, where, where did little Koo go? Where did my new buddy go? I guess they don't want us going up here that way. Interesting. Oh, snap. He's going to learn to fly. There you go. That's the kind of food he likes. Slimy yet satisfying.
Oh. He's got a broken wing. They're basically telling me, go help her out. <laughs> I'm coming, Koo. Where'd you go? God, this game is gorgeous. Man, Koo's all grown up now. It was really pretty how they showed all the different seasons of that year as she grew up. <laughs> Lays in the past. What? We're we gonna do a little, some flashbacks here or something. I do love how smooth the gameplay is in this, though. A mother's final gift. There we go. That's a little backflip there. <laughs> Kuro's Feather. You've gained a new ability. While airborne, hold right trigger to glide freely or ride wind currents. Cool. <laughs> nice. That is cool. I wonder how long I'm going to get to use it, or am I going to give it to my friend? We gotta wake, we gotta wake him up. <laughs> Together on new wings. So close. Oh man.
Water marsh. Oh no. Okay, we don't have any abilities yet. Where'd she go? Where's my coo? <laughs> Ow. Okay, I can't fight anything yet, looks like. Life orb. You found a life orb. Collect these to restore Zori's life. Yep, just like the first one. Whoa. Man, there is so much more detail in this one. I mean, the first one was gorgeous as well, but this one definitely has like a... Marsh or Luma Pools. I mean, I don't know. I, okay, I guess this definitely got the Metroidvania style of gameplay, so kind of that free your own, you know, figure out which way to go first kind of thing. Right trigger to grab and move. Okay. Life cell fragment. Collect one more to increase your maximum life. Sweet. But what I was saying earlier is there's so much movement in the background. Oh no, the water's hurting me. Ah! Oh! Okay. This is not safe water. Okay, can't go that way. We will come back. Ow! Oof. Okay. Let's try that again. Come on. Dodge the spikies. We'll go this way now. See which way this takes us. There we go, get a little bit of health. Small spirit light container. 
Can be traded to friendly creatures for various items and upgrades. Nice. Man, if you guys just look at the background, there's just so many layers of depth in this game. I love it. Oh dear. Don't worry. You got this. <laughs> okay, I can't get through that thing of sticks yet. Do we have a map yet? Okay, we got a little bit of a map here. 7% so far. There's a thing there that I couldn't get. And we've gone down here. Okay. Can't go that wait, can I go that way? Oh no, I can't. Okay. I can't quite reach that. Hold down, press A to fall through a platform. Okay, we got one of those. Alright. Where does this go? Is this someone's hut or something? That's weird. It doesn't look like there's anything to do over here yet. Yeah, it's kind of a dead end. Alright, we'll drop through here. Oh, what is this? Oh, cool. This is a little different. We get a torch. Light our way through the dark, it looks like. Oh, I can use it as a weapon. Nice. <laughs> cool. Very cool. You found an energy orb. Collect these to restore Aura's energy. Okay. Oh, yeah. There's the X button. That's our first quick move item. Okay, we don't have any keystones yet, so we can't open that door. <laughs> cool. Oh, sweet! We can get through these things with, with our torch. Okay. We can probably go back up to that other area and get through there, too. Okay, that... Requires a little something more than this. Let's keep moving on. Oh, those are spikes, not an enemy. Press X to talk to talk. What are you now? Not a Moki, clearly. Not even from you, and are you? I've visited most lands near and far, not seen your kind. Come across the water, maybe. Well, whatever you are, I'm talk wanderer in these parts. The better parts, at least. I'm taking shelter from the sto that storm myself, but if you're thinking of going further, you'll have to get through the spirit gate to the east. You'll need two keystones. I happen to have one in my bag, and there's another in the cave ahead. But acquiring it is a job for someone more nimble than myself. What do you say? New quest. Find the keystone. Press the menu button to see quest details. The missing key. Retrieve the missing keystone from the cave beyond talk and he'll give you this. Nice. Okay. Alright, let's see what we can find over here. more of those. Not much else over here. Sorry, my dude. I was just looking for energy. Or health. And this thing really launches enemies. 
Ooh. Wasn't sure about that drop. <laughs> Looks like the currency for the game. Uh oh. What is this? Ow. Ooh. Man. You are feisty. Oh, okay. That, that kind of took me out. Alright, let's try that again. I'm gonna try to dodge him a little better this time. There we go. Whew. Man. We got like one health left. Please don't anything else help me hit me. I wish this was rejuvenating water. Jump onto the blue moss to cling to it. Oh, that's cool. Nice. <laughs> oh, we can climb up set. Cool. Oh, that is so cool. Uh, let's go this way first. There's something over here I need. There we go. Keystone used to open spirit gates. Different spirit gates may require a different number of keystones. This is true. Missing key. Show the keystone. Talk. Okay, what do we got? Roar, uh, you found the missing keystone. Go back to talk. Okay. Sweet. Oh, man. That, that killed me. Uh, respawning heals me completely, though, which is good. I don't, I don't have a torch anymore, do I? Nope, I do not. So I can't fight right now, even if I wanted to. You're back! And is that a keystone I see? Here's one more for your trouble. I am ever a bird of my word, hmm? Now I can continue my wanderings through Nguyen's lost wonders before we lose anymore. And you can carry on with Ur. Whatever it is you're doing, good luck. Alright, thank you, sir. Completed. Sweet. Okay, as far as the map is concerned... Oh! Okay, spirit shards, undiscovered... And then inventory, oh, interesting, we got... One keystone here. Got three of those blues, three of those green. Interesting, okay. Uh, I need the map... Just for a second. What is that? Okay, well, either way, I need to work my way back to get to my to that spirit door that I saw earlier. Can this... Okay, I, I don't have a torch. I don't even have double jump yet, so I'm definitely going to have to be careful and work my way back without getting hit. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh what was that? That was intense. Now I know there are quite a few more boss battles in the sequel here that I'm very much looking forward to seeing how they play out. Alright, well I'm as full health as I can be. I don't have any weapons, so... Not sure how I'm gonna su survive this. <laughs> what is that? Oh my god. Oh jeez. Oh. oh did oh my god, I just died. Oh my god. Okay. Oh okay, we okay, alright. Looks like this first part is the first part is a chase mission. Ooh! Thanks. Oh come on, Ori move. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh, oh. Wait a minute. Sweet, I got the torch back. Alright. Alright. Uh. Okay. 
Okay, looks looks like I can. All right, sweet, it's working. All right, looks like if I tip myself in this corner, I can double tap something. I mean, I guess I'll just keep repeating this until he backs off. Jeez. <laughs> Come on. Come on, you nasty wolf. Oh, sweet. Whew. Okay. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Alright. Whew. Man, that was a little intense for a minute there. <sighs> okay. Alright, let's see. Um oh man. <laughs> okay. That was pretty intense. Oh, come on. I know there's a lot of spikies over there, but that looks way more friendly than going back this way. I mean, this is where the wolf just dropped. I don't like this, guys. Looks like I have to go this way, though. Ori has a way of throwing you back towards the danger that you were just running from. It's kind of a common theme. Ooh, sweet. Got more currency. Okay, those are bones. I know I can't break those because I don't have a weapon. Owl's Den? Okay, I can't get... Uh, more bones. I can't get through them. Oh, I don't like this, guys. I do not like the way this is looking. We got... I guess we're going to keep going down for now. Oh, boy. Ooh, a rickety spine for a bridge. Alright, anything over here? Okay, looks like we're gonna probably need at least two more keystones. Can I drop through this? Nope. Can't drop through the bones. Ooh, there's one of those cats. Whoa! Okay, cool. Can I get back up? Am I stuck here? <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Okay. Ooh, we're zooming in. It must be something important, right? Just like the first game. Oh, snap. Alright, guys, you know what this means. We're going to get our first ability for this game. I love it when we get new abilities. Alright guys, here is a showcase of more Feel the Depth. We've got background, foreground, and in the action. I love the depth of the graphics in this game. You are not like the others. The Shrieker, the Howler. In you shines an ancient light. The tree remembered it knowed, it glowed. It has shared its memory with you. Alright guys, we've got Spirit Edge. You've gained a new ability. Left trigger, and you can assign it to those buttons to unleash a combo attack. 
Now use the light. We want to see. Oh, look at all these little orbs around here. This this is one of our abilities. We're going to get a lot, but it looks like we can only really assign three buns at a time. This is going to make gameplay very interesting. Uh, I'm going to pick X because that's very common for hack and slash games. And something I'm pretty familiar with. Oh, that is sweet. Yes, I've got a permanent melee ability. Sweet takes out those bones, we are going to get through a few more areas in the game for sure. Nice. <laughs> Ooh. A little bit of healing in there. Oh man, he got quite a bit of a range. Alright guys, I'm going to end part one right here, um, got my first ability, my first real big boss looking encounter, I am so excited for the rest of this game, I will be playing completely through the entirety of this game, um, guys hit that subscribe button, keep up to date with all the uploads as they come out, I'm going to try to knock this out over the next week because we have some bigger game titles coming out this month march is filled to the brim with the new titles so thanks for watching hit that like button and as always my gaming nerds i'll see you on the other side